So I had a student ask why the potential energy equation looks very similar uh, for elastic potential energy, why that equation looks very similar to the kinetic energy equation. Um, it all stems from the idea that work is the change in energy. Uh, if we were to look at this and um, make sure that we use the other definition for work, where work is a force times a distance, if we think about this equation, work is force times distance, um, this actually we're, is actually an integration because we're integrating the force over the displacement or the distance that you're, um, that, that force is acting. Uh, another way to think about it is if I had a, if I graphed this force and the distance, the work would be the area. And so what I'm really looking to do is finding the integral of the force over the distance. And so work is really the integral of F dx. Okay where work is actually the change in energy. Okay, so if we think about this as potential, uh, elastic potential energy, um, then the force is due to Hooke's law, F is negative kx. I'm just gonna ignore the negative on this, um, saying that we're just looking at the magnitude of this force. Um, so I get, uh, the change in energy or the elastic potential energy is going to be the integral of F, um, which is kx over x dx, kx dx. And this is from x initial to x final. This integral, we can pull the k out front, integrate um, x dx, and when we do that integration, we get 1 half x squared evaluated from x initial to x final, um, which gives us this equation that we had before, 1 half kx squared. Um, we would get the change in that energy, but let's say the initial energy is zero. Um, then we would just end up with um, the final energy being 1 half, x, uh, 1 half kx squared, because we can't forget that k out front. Okay, so if I were to think about this as um, kinetic energy then, I would say that uh, kinetic energy, the force is due to Newton's second law, or um, F equals MA. So this is a little bit longer. So F equals MA, this is gonna give us our change in energy, integral mass times acceleration over X, or the displacement, I'm going to pull my mass out front. The acceleration is just the velocity, the change in velocity over the change in time, or dv, dt, and then this is going to be dx. And so we can rearrange this integration, uh, just sort of flip-flopping the dx and the dv, because these two are multiplied by each other, so we can have dv first and then dx, or we can have dx first and then dv. We can integrate over position, or we can integrate over velocity. Okay, so when we do that, we get dx dt uh, integrated over the velocity, um, but dx dt is just the velocity. And so now we're looking and seeing this similar equation where we have um, mass times the integral of the velocity um, of the velocity. So uh, this gives us Again, this VDV integral gives us um, one half velocity squared from your initial velocity to your final velocity. Um, and so you can see that this equation is very sim or is the same as that equation, especially if your initial velocity would be zero. So that's why they are similar. Um, it has to do with calculus. Uh, it's most likely not a coincidence, but sort of in the way that um, math works out, it's sort of magical that they are, they are so similar.